Hi Bankers, I am James, one of the senior faculties of IBS Kayangulam, a premier institute for bank coaching and other SSB examinations. In this video, I would like to mention about equated monthly installment. For bankers, this is an important concept and even for JIB examination also, a very frequently they ask a question on EMI. See, there are two types of uh, repayment of a loan. One is equal installments, another is equated installments. What is the difference between equal installments and equated installments? It appears to be more or less the same, but there is a basic difference. In equal installments, the principal is divided into equal installments and interest will be separately calculated. That means suppose an element of uh, an amount of 120,000 rupees is borrowed, repayable over a period of 12 months. So the principal of 120,000 is divided into 12 monthly installment of 10,000 each. And along with this 10,000, the interest has to be paid. So initially, in this case, the interest payment will be more and the installment amount also will be more. Over the period, the principal remains at 10,000 and the interest factor will come down. So this is the case of equal installments. Coming to equated installment, here the principal and the cumulative interest is divided into equal installments. So that is the basic difference. So in the case of equated installment, the installment amount remains the same throughout the currency of the loan. Whereas in the case of equal installment, the initial installment will be higher and subsequent installment will be lower. Now, how do you calculate equated monthly installment of a loan? There is a very simple formula. The formula for EMI is loan amount into rate of interest. If R is the rate of interest, it is P into R into 1 plus R the whole raised to N divided by 1 plus R the whole raised to N minus 1. So this is the formula. So here P stands for the loan amount, R stands for the rate of interest and M the number of installment. It's a very simple concept but students usually commit a mistake. Now let us consider an example. You have to asked to find out the equated monthly installment of a loan, say a vehicle loan of rupees 5 lakh, payable in 3 years, carrying an interest rate of 9%. I'll repeat once again, the loan amount is 5 lakh, the repayment period is 3 years and the rate of interest is 9%. So P is 5 lakh, R is 9%. See here, we are asked to calculate the EMI, equated monthly installment. So remember, whenever equated monthly installment is to be found out, you have to divide the rate of interest with 1200. Make it very clear, it is 1200. If annual installment, equated annual installment is to be found out, then it is rate divided by 100. If it is half yearly installment, equated half yearly installment, rate becomes R by 200. If it is quarterly installment, the rate becomes R divided by 400. Here it is monthly, therefore the rate of interest divided by 1200 will be the value of R. So here 9% is the rate of interest. So R takes the value 9 by 1200 and 9 by 1200 is 0.0075. So you got P as 5 lakh, R as 0 0.0075 and what is N? The number of installment. This loan is repayable in 3 years at monthly installment. That means 3 years means how many monthly installment? 36 monthly installment. So N takes the value 36. So you substitute in the formula P 5 lakh into 0 0.0075 into 1.0075. 0.075 raised to 36 divided by 1.0075 raised to 36 minus 1.
Now, it on simplification, you will get the answer as 3750 3, into 1.3286, sorry, 3086 divided by 1.3086 minus 1. On simplification, it gives you the answer 15,902. Therefore, the monthly installment of this loan is 15,902. Okay, so it's a very simple concept. Here, the formula has to be by heart. You have to by heart the formula for EMI, and the same formula can be used for EMI equated monthly installment or EHI equated half yearly installment or EQI equated quarterly installment or EMI equated monthly installment. The only thing is if the repayment is in yearly, our rate and number of years doesn't change. If R is 10%, it is 10 by 100 and N is 5 years, N takes the value 5. If it is half yearly and 5 year, N takes the value 5 into 2, 10 and R takes the value 10 by 2, that means 5. And 10 by 200 means uh, 0.05. Thank you. If you like this video, kindly press like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. If you like our content, do like, share, and subscribe.